Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show y'all how I like to create a spotlight eye, halo eye, whatever you want to call it. But essentially the idea behind this look is to create a lighter space kind of going running through the center of your eye. So it really creates that kind of spotlight effect on your eyes where you're keeping the outer and inner corner more intense, more rich, a little bit deeper. And then the center of the eye is kind of that, it has that like spotlight effect. So today I went for blacks and grays because I really wanted to almost exaggerate this technique so you can really see the placement of the eyeshadows. Plus it's like super rainy and gloomy outside and I was kind of feeling the more dark tones for this look. But the great thing about this look is that you can use whatever eyeshadows you want. So if you want this to be a little bit lighter, brighter, more kind of daytime, you can definitely use lighter eyeshadows. You don't have to go as dark and as intense as I did. This is, I was just kind of playing around with it. This is just the technique and then you can put your own little creative, unique spin on it and make it your own. So that's what we're doing today. Make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. If you wanna try and recreate this, grab your makeup and you can do this look along with me. If you're getting ready for your day, can you just grab your makeup and get ready with me? We can hang out, have a little girl time. I've got my hot coffee right here and let's go and get into it. All right guys, so I think I'm just gonna speed through the face makeup because the focus of this look is the eyes. And I'm honestly just doing kind of my base routine, just kind of like how I always do it. So I'll speed through it. I will of course put all the products down below that way I don't bore you with all of my face makeup. So I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, do a little snatched base routine. I am gonna go a little bit more full coverage, but I still like to keep it very fresh. I mentioned in my last video that when I'm doing a deeper eye, I like to keep the skin a little bit more fresh just to kind of offset it. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get to that and then I will see y'all back here in a little bit and we will do the eye makeup. Turn on some music to enjoy. While I do my makeup, what do I want to listen to? Let's do some Conan Gray, his new album. All right, base is done. So we're gonna go on and move on to the eyes. So the look that I'm kind of going off of is one that I posted on my Instagram. I got so many DMs saying, can you please recreate this? Show us how you did it. Like, how do you do this kind of spotlight eye? So I'm not an expert. Um, this is just me kind of playing around and practicing. And so I thought I would kind of recreate it. I didn't wanna use the same exact eyeshadows for this look because I wanted to switch it up a bit. So in that look, I used the Kevin Aquan Contour Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think it was like in the shade Deep. But today I'm gonna use the Nabla Side by Side Palette. This is also more affordable and you get a lot more eyeshadows in here. Um, this is one of my favorites. You can get Nabla at Ulta and uh, it's more on the affordable side and I love the formula of their eyeshadows. So we're gonna kind of dip into these deeper shades. I think I'm gonna keep this matte. The eye look I did on my Instagram was matte. I don't know, we'll kind of see where this goes. And uh, that's how all my makeup looks are. I, I never plan them out, I just kind of sit and play and then it turns into something. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then I also pulled in a black eyeliner. This is going to be important for this look, um, for the waterline as well as, I'm also gonna use this as a base for our eyeshadows because I do want this to be 
a little bit more intense than the look that I did on my Instagram. I kind of want to, I don't know, make it a little more smoky, a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to actually start with this. This is the RMS Straight Line Coal Eye Pencil. It's just a wood uh, eyeliner. And the reason I chose this one is because it's really, really creamy and really emollient. Um, and it works well kind of blend uh, when blending it out. Like it, it doesn't stay stiff. It doesn't stick to the lids. Like you really have a lot of time to kind of play with this. So I'm going to start with this liner just right on the outer corner of my eye, not being too precise. This is just gonna be a base for our eyeshadows. You can use an actual eyeshadow base if you want. You can use, um, sorry, I'm trying to find some brushes here. Um, you can use a cream eyeshadow, a paint pot, you know, whatever you're more comfortable with. I like working with pencils, I always have, so this is just what I am the most comfortable with working with. And I'm just going to start building this color on the outer corner. And I'm using a uh, Refer 28 brush. Uh, these brushes are awesome because they work really well with powders and really well with creams. And we're going to be working with both today. And then I'm going to take that pencil, run it on my lower lash line as well. Take that same brush and just really blend that in. I'm gonna blend it up towards the uh, upper eyelid. And really the key to this look is kind of working a little at a time so you can build the intensity. It's hard to take away intensity once you've gotten there. It's easier to kind of add more and add more as you go. So I would definitely say just work a little at a time and then also just really focus on blending um, in between shades in between textures so right now i'm just being very mindful of making sure this is nice and soft and blended we are of course going to apply eyeshadows on top of this so it doesn't have to be perfect but i just want to avoid having any kind of harsh lines on the eyes because this will be hard to blend out later so you might as well just blend it out now get it done now and you don't have to worry about it later so i also took that same pencil and i put that right in my inner of the inner corner and up to my the inner third of my eye i'm taking that same brush and just slowly blending that out so you can kind of see the makings of this halo eye spotlight eye whatever you want to call it because we're really creating depth on the outer corner inner corner and leaving that center line of the eye that's where we're really going to make it pop and that's going to give it kind of that spotlight effect. Take that same pencil. I'm going to run it on the inner corner and inner third of my lower lash line. We're basically just mirroring what we're doing. And the reason I like to work with creams and more specifically pencils first is you have a lot more control when it comes to placement. Eyeshadows, there tends to be a lot of fallout. And it's kind of harder to create that shape and really precise application. I like pencils because they're obviously just, they're more precise. So you can really get into whatever areas you want and map out and kind of guide where you're gonna wanna place your uh, powder eyeshadows. You can of course skip this step if you don't have the time or you just don't wanna bother with it. But for me, this almost makes it quicker because applying powder eyeshadows on top of this is gonna be so, so easy and I'm honestly just gonna use the same brush. So I think I'm gonna keep the shape of this pretty round. I have a little bit of an angle right here but I don't wanna make it a cat eye or too winged out. I kinda wanna keep it nice and tight to the eye. Um, again, you just kind of take what I'm doing and put your own creative unique spin on it. You can really do whatever you want for this look. You can create whatever shape. So now I'm tight lining my upper water line, just getting that really saturated and black. And then for the lower water line, I'm only applying the black liner to the outer and inner parts of my water line. And then I'm just gonna go back in with that brush and really smudge it in Alright, so now that we have the 
basic shape of the look, kind of the outline done. Uh, we're gonna go in with some eyeshadows and this is kind of the easy part. And with this look, you don't have to go super black and intense like I am. You can do this technique really with any colors. So again, like I keep saying, put your own personal unique spin on this. You can make this like very, very light and natural for a more everyday look, kind of a, a daytime look. So you definitely don't have to use these rich, intense blacks, but this is just the, the mood that, my, that I'm in right now. It's pouring rain outside and I'm in a little bit of a doom and gloom kind of mood. Um, so I'm gonna start with the shade Clan, which is this really deep, uh, kind of charcoal gray. I will go in with this matte black called uh, Untitled, but I just want to start with Clan first. And I'm going to take it on a smaller blending brush. This is a Refer 13. I love this brush for uh, these spotlight eyes because you can really work color and blend color and be precise, but it's still nice and fluffy. And you can still really blend the color. So it's just a really great shape. So I'm going to go in with that shade. I'll zoom y'all in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take that color and just kind of go in circular motions and just work that color on top of that black pencil that we already have down. And it's the good thing about having that kind of creamy pencil base is that the eyeshadows are really gonna stick and you don't have to worry about piling on a ton of product. Um, it should be pretty intense right off the bat without being overwhelming. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a little bit more of that color and run that along my lower lash line. And I'm just applying this shade on top of all of the areas that I applied my black pencil. It, it just makes it so easy. Like I'm not really having to work at this at all. I love working with pencils and creams when doing these more dramatic looks because they can be intimidating and a little overwhelming and you're just like, I don't know where to start and they can become a little bit of a mess and then you're trying to like wipe away fallout and blend it out, do that panic blending. And uh, that's why I love working with pencils and creams underneath because it really just takes a lot of the work out of it. So I'm going in with a Refer 01 brush, uh, no product on it, and I'm just cleaning up around that eyeshadow. All right, and then a little bit of a trick, if you are having a hard time blending out your eyeshadows, I use this trick all the time. Take a little bit of your face powder, whatever powder you used. Um, today I used the Charlotte Tilbury one. Take a clean brush, apply a little bit of powder and you can use that to clean up and blend out the edges of your eyeshadow. That's a really great way to soften it up without having to apply another eyeshadow. And it really does help to blend and kind of soften those edges. So anyway, little tip that I find very, very helpful when doing these kind of smokier looks. So now we're gonna apply a little bit of something through the crease because I want to make this nice and smoky and diffused. I don't want to bring this really intense color all the way up. So I'm going to go in with something a little bit softer, a little bit lighter if I can find my blending brush. And I'm going to use the shade Beauty Mark. And I'm just going to really lightly just start working that through my crease. And you can kind of see this little help kind of bring the color up a little bit more without bringing that black intense color all the way up. And then I'm gonna take a tiny bit of that same shade and just run that along the lower lash line, just right, um, mainly focusing on that outer corner and inner corner. Kind of wanna keep that middle nice and light and bare because we will be going in with another shade there. All right, so I wanna intensify this outer and inner portion just a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with that matte black in the palette and I'm using that same flat brush that I used to blend out my eyeliner. It's the Refer 28. And I'm gonna concentrate it right at the lash line and then slowly just kind of blend it outwards. 
but I want the majority of this richness to be right at that lash line. And I'm gonna again mirror that on my upper and lower lash line. So there we go. So I'm actually not gonna blend that out. I'm gonna leave it because I want that black to be really intense. So yeah, I'm not even gonna blend it out. I'm gonna leave it as is. So for the center portion of the eye, you can do a, a glitter, you can do a shimmer, a metallic shade, um, a matte shade, which I think is what I'm leaning towards. I think I wanna keep this matte, um, but obviously like a really cool shimmer would just be really, really, really cool. And it would really pop next to this really intense black. But for me, I'm kind of thinking I wanna keep this matte. I may change my mind. But for now, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a matte shade. So I'm gonna start with Rarity. It's the lightest shade in the palette. It's pretty light. I was kind of debating between Rarity and Bonjour, which is a little bit more peachy. But I think I'm just gonna go for the darker shade. So I'm just gonna pick this up on a flat brush. This is a Mario EF4 brush. You could even use, um, Actually, you know what? I'm gonna mix Rarity with a little bit of my face powder just to take down the, the intensity a little bit so it's not so, so light. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the center of the lid. And I'm gonna pull that color through all the way up to my brow so we really get that spotlight effect. I'm gonna mimic that on the lower lash line, just right in that center portion. And then I'm just gonna go in with my little tiny blending brush and just blend right along that edge so that it's nice and soft and just a nice kind of more gradient effect. I don't want it to be so harsh and distinct. All right, so I'm gonna stop obsessing. I'm going to curl my lashes and do mascara. I'm just gonna do my favorite MAC, MAC Stack mascara. And then I'll show you how I'm gonna do the lower waterline because I'm gonna touch up that black eyeliner, but then I'm also gonna put some eyeliner in the center as well just to really make that pop. So I'll show you that when we get back and do mascara. And I'll be right back. All right, mascara is on. So I already took a little bit more of my RMS liner and just touched up the inner and outer corner of my lower waterline, but I want to show you what I was going to apply to the center. So you don't have to do this, but where did I just put it? Oh, I really want this center part to pop. So I'm going to take a nude liner. This is the Victoria Beckham, oh gosh, uh, Instant Brightening Waterline Pencil. Any nude pencil will work. You don't have to use this one. But I'm just going to apply that right to the center just to make that area pop. Again, you don't have to do this. I mean, it's already, you know, you can really see it. And yeah, you can really see it creates that spotlight effect all the way through the eye. So that's just a nice little touch to kind of make this pop even more, make it a little bit more uh, intense. So for the lip, I'm just gonna do a little nude lip. I actually just received in PR all of the new Say Beauty lip blurs. These are really, really nice. I actually did an entire reel swatching all of them on my lips. So if you wanna see all the shades, I can't remember how many there are. Um, but if you wanna see all the shades on my lips, definitely check that out. Um, but the shade I'm gonna to use today is Nouveau. It's actually one of my favorites from the uh, collection. Uh, but I thought it would go really well with this eye look. So I'm not gonna do it to its full intensity because it is a pretty dark, color as you can see. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit and then take my finger and kind of blend it into the lip. All right, and then I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Strip Down. All right guys, that completes this look. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that this was helpful for those of you who've been wanting to know how I do this kind of spotlight effect on the eyes. It's just such a cool way to 
do a smoky eye that's a little bit more interesting, it's more unique, it's like when you see it, you're like, oh, what's she got going on in her eyes? Like, it's, it's really different. It really um, brings a lot of focus to the eyes, you know, rather than just having like a ton of color or black all over the eyes. It really just makes it more interesting. And I just love the way that a spotlight eye looks. It's just really cool. You do not have to be skilled in any capacity to do this look. I promise you it's so easy. And if you've been wanting to do like a smokier look with black and gray and those richer tones, but you don't want to do like a full on smoky eye, this is a really great alternative. So I hope that this was helpful for y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today as always. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are